friends welcome back hearty welcome to you earlier we have done one problem on 10th grade related to double cone and this is another problem that problem is with the dimensions of right triangle as 3 4 5 this is 5 12 13 as requested by one of our friend i just thought of doing this video so what we have here is a right angle triangle with the legs as 5 and 12 and the hypotenuse is 13 centimeters and it has been revolved around its hypotenuse so that it can form a double cone. Now what we need to find out is the surface area, total surface area and volume of the double cone so formed. So if you look here, what we need to find out now is that when we take the right angle triangle of side 5, 12 and 13 and try to revolve it around the hypotenuse, then for the two cones, whatever formed, the slant height will be 5 and 12 and the height, some of them should be equal to the hypotenuse 13 and we need to calculate the radius first. So first let's focus on how to find out these values of R, H1 and H2. So then we know that total surface area of the double cone is nothing but sum of the curved surface areas of both of these cones and the volume will be sum of these values of the two, two cones. Okay, let's find out what is R first. For that what we will do, we'll take the triangle ABC and write down what is its area. Area of triangle ABC Triangle ABC area can be given as half into base into height that is equals to half into 5 into 12 but that is also equals to half into 13 into R because area is equals to half into base into height. If I take the base as AC, then my height will be nothing but for the triangle R only. So simplifying this half and half will cancel, we get R equals to 60 by 13. So we are able to get the R value. Now only the thing is we have to understand what is H1 and H2. Remember we already said that H1 plus H2 is equals to 13 because the hypotenuse is 13 which is divided into two heights. Now once we know R value and we know this is 5, we can go to any one of these right triangles and we can easily calculate H1. Once we got H1, we can easily get the H2 also. So let's use this triangle AXB and try to apply Pythagoras theorem there and see what happens. 5 square, hypotenuse square equals to H1 square, we don't know what it is, plus R square which we just found out that it is 60 by 13 whole square. So what is H1 square then? H1 square equals to 25 minus 60 square that is 3600 divided by 13 square that is 169. Now 25 into 169 is 4225 minus 3600 divided by 169. Now that will give us 625 by 169, 625 by 169. So from that we can say that H1 equals to square root of 625 divided by 169 that is equals to 25 by 13. If H1 is 25 by 13, we know H1 plus H2 is 13. So H2 will be equals to 13 minus 25 by 13. Simplify that, we will get 144 divided by 13. So we got the value of H2 here, we got the value of H1 here, and we got the value of R here. So we have everything ready. So we can just go ahead and plug in the values to find out the CSA and the value. So let's go ahead. First, we'll try to write down what will be the volume of this double cone. So we will say that volume of double cone so formed is equals to sum of the volumes of these two cones. So I can write down 1 by 3 into pi into r square. Radius is the same for both of them 
into h1 plus 1 by 3 into pi r square into h2. Now you can take 1 by 3 pi r square common. Then we have into h1 plus h2. If you want to know the value separately, you can substitute the value of h1 and h2, whatever we have. Now we want the combined value. So we know h1 plus h2 is 13. So I can directly go ahead and write down 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into r square that is 60 by 13 into 60 by 13 multiply with h1 plus h2 that is again 13 because we know that the hypotenuse is nothing but sum of the two different heights whatever we got. Now 13 and 13 will cancel. So what we have here now 3 will go 20 times. So we have anything else cancelling it out. So we have 22 into 20 into 60 divided by 7 13s are 91. Now let us do this calculation. 22 2s are 44, 44 6s are 264, 264 0 0 divided by 91. Try to find out what will be the total surface area now. Total surface area equals to Total surface area is equals to CSA of first cone plus CSA of second cone. What is the formula here? Pi r into L1 plus here pi r into L2. But pi r is common. So let us substitute the values 22 by 7 into r that is 60 by 13. We can take that common. Then left out is L1 plus L2. What is L1? 5. What is L2? 12. We need to simplify this. So this will be 22 by 7 into 60 by 13 into 17. Whatever answer comes, that will be in cm square. If you are taking all of these are in centimeters. These units are in centimeters. Then our answer volume will be in cm cube and surface area will be in cm square. Now let us simplify this. This will be, we can't cancel anything here. So we need to multiply. 22 into 17 is 374 into 60 divided by 91. That is equals to 374 into 6. That is 1870, 2244, 0 divided by 91. 91 twos are 182. Then we have 42, so 4 times it will go 364, 5, 84, 6 times it will go 546, then 2s are 182, 42, 424, 364, 58, so it will be approximately around 6 or 5 in between somewhere there, we can check that, cm square. So, the total surface area is 246.5 or 0.6 cm square and the volume we have calculated as 290 point it's just near approximately equal to 290 cm cube. So the concept what we have to understand here in this is whenever we take a right angle triangle and try to revolve it around the hypotenuse then what happens is the legs will become the slant height and the sum of the heights will be the hypotenuse of the given triangle and the radius we can easily calculate by taking the right angle triangle given to us and we can calculate the radius then we can use Pythagoras theorem and we can calculate h1 and h2. Then once we do that then total surface area is sum of curved surface area of these two cones 
and the volume of the double cone is sum of these two volumes of the two cones for which we know the radius and also we know that h1 plus h2 equals to 13 centimeters. So that's a video what it was requested. So I just thought of doing that. Please do let me know your feedback and try to share it with your friends if you like it. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.